as the title of the video suggests, we are handing Man City a treble on a silver platter. But we've had our youth intake and it was an excellent one, so there's still reasons to be cheerful, right? Right? Yes, welcome back everyone to our Chelsea rebuild. Here is the youth intake I promised you. As I mentioned in the last vid, if anyone wants to drop a comment, they can claim one of these youth stars as their own. Wally Rabstein, probably the best of the bunch. He's got 15 for finishing. He's only 5 for 11, but we won't hold that against him. I think he's definitely someone worth playing a striker for. Well, Mario Williams, centre midfielder, 20 for determination. He's only 5 foot 3. It's not his fault. 55 kilos, so he might get blown away. But plenty of time for him to develop and bulk up. We'll get him on the protein shakes. Big Mario, we'll call him. And who's the other one? Sam Trosson. Yeah, a right back slash centre back. Again, six foot. Maybe future at right back. But a pretty good talent. I think we can all agree on that. And as for our form, I mean, what a stinker. We knew, almost threw away the Champions League against Leipzig. We threw away the FA Cup by only managing a draw with Man City and getting beat on penalties. This point here, we had an eight-point lead in the Premier League. A draw with 19th place Everton was shocking. Followed that up by defeat to Bournemouth, even worse. And then a 3-1 defeat in the first leg of the Champions League quarterfinal. Kai Havertz getting us a goal back. We were 2-0 down. I think it was only our second shot on goal and our only shot on target. One of the worst performances I've seen from us all season. So I'm bringing you the Southampton game in the hope that you guys can bring some love, bring some good fortune and get this team firing again. We're going to rest Kai Havertz for this one. So the front three is going to be Mudrick, Felix and Sterling. We've got Kante, Gallagher and Gavi in the midfield. Zielinski and Mount both injured for a couple of weeks. Not ideal. Enzo Fernandez can do with a rest. It's just things haven't been going our way. We've got Man, Man United, Man City and Arsenal hunting us down at the top of the league. We've got a better goal difference than all of them, but but Man United are on some storming form. Yeah, we're just not performing at the moment. We'll see what this game brings. But yeah, we've still got to play Man United and Arsenal. We've only got a two-point lead. It's not ideal. As you can see, we've changed the skin. So I'll get, I'll leave a, a link to the video from Second Yellow Card down in the comments. He's the one that put me onto this skin. So big shout out to him. Um, gives us a, a lot of information. He'll explain it 10 times better than I ever could. So I'll let you watch his video. But just for it gives us a bit more information. I can try and make a decision on why. Why our team's been so bad as of late. Speaking of bad, the first highlight does go to Southampton. Tino Liveramento back from injury. Fafana gets the ball away. Centre back is an area where we're short as well, boys and girls. Um, Badashile has gone out on loan to Zenit for his toys out of the pram a bit, but not getting any football. Um, so he's gone. And what's probably even more sickening to me is I got an email from my scouts saying I could sign two many for less than a hundred million pounds, less than we paid for Gavi made me feel sick. It's definitely one I'm targeting in the summer transfer budget. Willing is he the answer? I think we probably need a centre back as well. I mean, I can't afford to miss out on him. His value is going to skyrocket as the saves progresses. And yeah, we could really do with, I think Kante's best days are behind him. Sorry, Kent. I know that you've been a loyal servant to Chelsea amongst the years. I still, I still like to keep you around, but your wages and well, transfer value or lack of transfer value might dictate what we do with you in the summer. Lavia is another one. I really like that as an option, but I've just got my heart set on many and Valverde. I can't see us ever getting Valverde because of his price. I can't see us ever getting a goal in this game either, by the way. It's another shocker from us. The tactic maybe needs a bit of tweaking. I know we got, haven't got Kai Havertz on the pitch, but that's no excuse. Players on the pitch should be doing a lot better than what we have been, even with Kai Havertz in the team. God knows where we'd be. We'd, well, we'd be about fourth without him. I think he's he's won us points on his own. He's given us a glimmer of hope in a staying in the Champions League, although I'm not 
overly confident that we can overturn the two goals against City. But we've got to we've got to dream. What can we do here? What can we do here? It's just not it's just not good from us really. Um we get stuck in, we can push this all a bit higher. I don't know. It's a it's a tricky one. It's a tricky one. We've form is like I said, it's been shocking. I'm not quite sure if there's an option to have a team meeting and try and thrash this out. But yeah, I mean, eight shots, only one on target. It's not good from us at all. We're doing our absolute best to throw this away. Connor Gallagher, can he make a difference? Takes it down. Oh, and he's saved. It's on target. Fair play to the lad. You have to think Zielinski would have buried that. Mason Mount would have buried that. Enzo Fernandez would have buried that. And then would have buried that. Someone would have done something a lot better than what we've done there. Let's get Sterling and Reese James off. Not ideal taking James off when we're searching for a goal. But, yeah, we've got that important game against Man City. Everything's must win at the moment, to be fair. Look at that. I mean... If this stays a draw, then we're potentially going to go level on points with Arsenal. We're just literally handing these guys roots back into it. We should be miles clear of the Premier League. We really should. The Everton game was a real kick in the guts for us. This is even worse. Bournemouth was horrible. It's, yeah, it's not, not great from us. It makes me feel that we are going to need even more money to spend in the summer and rebuild some of this team. Maybe we do just need to swallow our pride and get a striker involved. It's not something I'm overly keen on doing, but needs must. As Livermento is in down the right-hand side here, and he crosses for Orsic, and we go behind to Southampton. Oh! oh no, God! No, God, please, no! No! We just cannot stop this rot. We are in horrendous form. I didn't catch that. Nobody asked you, Siri. And trouble looms here. Really does. This is in danger of being the biggest bottle job in the history of bottle jobs. Don't know what to say. Do not know what to say. We're going to go second in the league here with seven games left. Mudrick has now got himself injured. Got no real attacking players on the bench that we can bring on. I think we're going to have to go to this. I don't know if this is going to work. I don't know what we can... I just don't know what else we can do. It's, it's horrible at the moment, boys and girls. It really is... The form has just deserted us at the worst possible time. Literally turn this game on, heading into recording this video, thinking, eight points clear, we're laughing. We're not going to get another season, let alone have to worry about any of these youth prospects coming through. It's definitely going into season two. I think we are, we, well, I've said it enough times, we're throwing it away. Throwing it away we're in a pathetic run of form. And that is that. That is a defeat to Southampton. That is, was it they winning four now? Four straight defeats? Four, three straight defeats. It's actually no win in six. Wow. As you can see, if Kai Havertz doesn't score, nobody scores. And yeah, just the crucial Champions League quarter final against Man City coming up. So I'm going to go cry, wipe away the tears, and we'll come back for that game in a second. Right then, we've had a team meeting. Everyone agreed that we are in danger of letting our hard work slip. They were all thrilled. So everyone is happy again. Um, People that aren't happy though, Thiago Silva and Mudrick both injured for this game. So the squad is down to the absolute bare bones. Um, Zielinski is fit enough to make the bench. But yeah, we've got two goals to overcome here. We rested Kai Havertz in the last game, so he should be fresh. You saw that, so you don't need me to waffle on about that last game. Probably the sooner we can forget that ever happened, the better. Hopefully the team meeting has done the business though. We need a big, big performance from the lads here. Um, I'm going to put my hands together. Let's say, yeah, let's do that. 
um, I trust you to make a difference. Make me proud. I can't. That's got to, that's got to get them all fired up. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. That's not a scary Man City team at all. We've got this. We've got Gavi. Let's get the, just get the ball to Gavi. Get the ball to Gavi. And everything will be rosy. Yes, Man City must have rested players for their game. They dropped points against Fulham. But Arsenal did win the North London derby away at Spurs. Typical Spurs. And they've gone top of the Premier League. Um, Man United won their game. So it's really tight at the top of the league. I'll show you after the game. But yeah, uphill task for us now. Like I said, we do play Arsenal. I think it's the second last game of the season. So if we can turn our league form around, then it gives us a bit of hope. Um, there's not much going on in this game. Let's encourage the boys. We've had one more shot than them. No, we haven't. Shut your mouth, Paul. You just jinxed it. But we have a highlight. Reese James floating it in for Farnar. Just does nothing. Edison claims it easily. Says it's going to be a City attack now. Edison rolls it out to Laporte. Laporte to Rodri. De Bruyne, we're just not getting tight enough. Liao, Haaland, Gundogan's burst through. Bernardo Silva looks over the top for Rafa Liao. He gets above his man and somehow Eric Garcia apparently gets himself between the ball and the goal. And we have a corner to defend. Bernardo Silva swings it in. Mendy comes and claims it confidently. Well done, big lad. As the, the half carries on. For those eagle eyes amongst us, you can see I've named the tactic, the Kai Bosch. I mean, it is all centred around getting the best out of Kai Havertz. Um, so I thought that was clever. Let me know if you agree. Um, what's not clever is us just allowing Man City to pass the ball. Haaland's in. He's surely offside. He's missed it anyway. You know, he's... I don't want to say anything. He will score against us if I say anything. Um... Again, nothing to shout about from us. We are not creating enough at all. Two shots, none on target. What do we do here, boys and girls? Let's look at the tactics. Let's see what we can do. Um, in position, we're working the ball into the box. Maybe pass it into space again. Um, let's run the defense. Let's go a bit quicker. More direct, bit wider, maybe. Go low crosses. Let's try that. Let's try that. Let's try thrashing our arms a bit. Tell them they've been terrible. 45 minutes to save our Champions League campaign. Can we do it? Sterling's looking a little bit tired. We've got the throw in Kai Havertz, Reese James, Eric Garcia. Fana. This is somewhere we've been poor in recent weeks. Our passing has been not very good at all. Ben Chilwell now. Kai Havertz. We're keeping the ball a bit better than what we have. Jao Felix looks for Kai Havertz. Kai Havertz is in. Goes around the keeper. Is it both posts? Oh. That is the story of our life. We have so unlucky there. I think it went down as a shot on target despite only hitting posts. But you need them to go in. You really need them to go in. Oh, so disappointing. Unlucky, mate. Let's try and make a personnel change, shall we? We haven't got much to do. Maybe we're going to do that. It's not exactly an attacking change, is it? I've got no one on the bench that can even come on and, and attack. Um, Zielinski. Maybe. Give it another 10. Give it another 10. See if he's fit enough to come on and do a job. Yeah, squad depth. Quite an issue at the moment. I think we've definitely pulled the trigger too early on a few players. Possibly should have invested the Gabby money a bit better into the squad. But it's Gabby. I'm not going to apologise. It's Gabby. Um, although we need a bit more from Gabby right now. Well, I need a bit more from the whole team. 20 minutes left. We're not doing anything. Why not bring Lufthansa Sheik on the right-hand side? Maybe he is the answer. 
that should, but no, nah, definitely wasn't the team. That's just overly optimistic. Let's be vulnerable to the counter attack. Kyle Walker's got all the space in the world. Into Jack Grealish, who spoons it wide. Oh, wow. Two really poor games from us in the last two, so I can only apologise for that. Gavi's looking tired. Um, I think we just need to take a bit of a risk here. Conor Gallagher on. Zielinski on. Go narrow with a front three. What can you do? Shadow striker. Shadow striker. Yeah, so is it. What can we... Last real throw of the dice. Roll of the dice. No, fuck it. Throw the dice. Do something. Come on, boys. That's not the button I wanted to click. My head's gone. The team's gone. Champions League's looking like it's gone. Fidel Felix has kept himself on side. Can he create some late drama? He looks for Kai Havertz, but the ball falls to Reese James, who drives it in, and Kai Havertz can't get it under control. And again, we're vulnerable on the counter-attack. Wesley Fofana gets in well, but the ball drops to Liao. Kai Havertz has nipped back in and won the ball, but he's given it to Bernardo Silva. Oh, Bernardo Silva back to Gundogan. Grealish, De Bruyne, and Rafa Liao. That is the final nail in our coffin. Oh. So disappointing. I mean, I don't mind losing if you go out and really give the game a good go. But we haven't. We've been absolutely destroyed in the stats. Man City clearly a level above us. Chilwell with a corner. Looks for Kai Havertz. Kai Havertz. Too little, too late. Gets a goal back. Consolation. At least we don't go down to another defeat, unless we concede again, obviously. Dogs in the background going mad, barking at something. Should probably be barking at our attacking players, if we're being honest. And with that, comes to the end of our Champions League campaign in Season 1. Definitely, definitely work to be done big task ahead of us now to try and save the league campaign it's a league title that if you'd have offered me this at the start of the season I would have definitely taken it but being eight points clear at a time of about 10 games left it's really not been good enough from us so we need some soul searching we need some big performances and I think I will come back for the last two games of the season Arsenal away and Brentford at home. Got a big game against Man United in between. And let's see if we can boost somewhere out. Hopefully you enjoyed that, boys and girls. If you did, please leave a thumbs up on the video. It does mean the world to me. I thank everyone for the support that the channel has been getting as of late. And I will see you soon for more Football Manager videos.